In this video, we're going to learn how to create a table. As you recall from the assignment, you have to create a couple tables. And uh, I'll show you how to create one of them, and then you can go ahead and uh, uh, create the other one based on the information you get from this video. So to create a table, what we do is we click on Create, and then Table. And uh, this brings us kind of into layout view. My suggestion is for the first column, basically you leave it alone. We may come back and relabel that. Um, so it's not ID, but something else, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to create an orders table here. So I think the first order of business is to uh, right click in the title bar for that window and click save and then uh, type in the term order or word orders. So there we have orders, click OK. Uh, we want to, we need several fields in this table and perhaps the first thing to think about when you're going to create a table is what fields you need. Um, we certainly need uh, for our order a customer ID. So let's um, click to add one here. Now if when, you, when it does click to add then it asks you what kind of a field uh, you want to add. It could be text or number, currency or one of these other ones. And so what I want to do here is figure out what kind you need to add. We're going to link this particular field up to the customer ID field in the customers table so we can get to it. And we, so if I double click on customers, the customers table comes up and uh, that's not the, I can't tell from here what kind of a field that is and so what I'm going to do is go to design view on that table and I see that the customer field has this little key by it that means it's a key field and that it's a text data type now that's important uh, so I'm going to click close here even though it had all numbers in it it was a text data field so I go back to the click to add here I highlight text and click on that and then I type cust ID. Uh, you could type customer ID or whatever you want really, but I'll type cust ID. Uh, another thing we need uh, in the table, uh, another field, we need the date. Um, and um, so I clicked on uh, the date type and um, I'm going to put a, f a field name in here of order date. I'll put an underscore between the two. You wouldn't call it just date because that's a, key, a customer reserve or a, a application reserved name and so you just use um, order date for that. So we have customer ID, order date, um, and there's other things you might want to put in here such as um, notes. You might want to uh, use a memo field. Memo field is a little bit bigger than a regular field um, so you can put notes um, in there if you want to enter notes and uh, so that's pretty much the the uh, how you create the table um, so I'm going to save it again and again the important thing is if we're going to hook it up to something else then we need to make sure we're going to hook one of the fields up to another table in a relationship then we need to make sure that we um, have the right type of field. So if it's text, it's text. If it's number, it's number, that sort of thing. If it's auto number, it's number. Um, those sorts of things. So uh, Now I said before that we might want to rename uh, one of the fields. I want to rename this ID field to call it order ID. And so if I write, if, if I click on that and then I right click, then I can rename the field. You can see that here near the bottom. And I'm just going to click uh, order ID or type it. And so I do that and I click save and we're done. Now, um, what I'm going to do, as long as I've got this done, I told you I wanted to hook orders up to customers on customer IDs. So what I want to do is show you how to create that relationship. I click on uh, database tools and the relationships and uh, for whatever reason that's off on the side you can see that my orders table is here my customers table is here if I didn't have all of the tables I needed um, here 
are in the relationships thing then then I click on the background uh, here let me show you I right click in the background it's a show table and then I could choose the tables I want you can put queries in here we don't have any queries but you can put take uh, employee table or whichever one you'd like to do. I'm going to close it because I don't want to add anything else. Now, for me to uh, create the relationship between customers and orders, what I do is I highlight the customers field, click on right left click on it, drag it over to the customer ID here so they match up, and I get this this uh, dialog box up it says edit relationships it says customer id customer id one to many so i've got one customer could have many orders uh, which is good and do not click enforce referential integrity and uh, click create you'll see it put that line between the two um, so that's how you create a relationship between the two